Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up everybody? It is your girl Rita, and I am here to do a video for you. Uh, if this is your first time clicking on a video, welcome. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you see something that will make you want to hit that sub button, subscribe, put those notification bells on, and get ready for these good, good, good um videos and recipes that I bring you guys. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm just a home cook. I'm cooking at home in my own kitchen. You might see me cute, you might see me jacked up, you might see me in my pajamas. I try not to show no T and A, cause you know, that's, that ain't got nothing to do with cooking. <laughs> neither, neither does what I look like. But, um, I try not to show nothing like that. You know, put a little sign on sign. Yeah, I'm just gonna come up in here with the T and the A out. I might get more subbies like that though, you know. Somebody like them thicker than a snicker. <laughs> okay. Anyway, y'all, I ain't gonna keep y'all on here long. I didn't come on here for a long video. This is gonna be a good one, y'all. So make sure that you got those notifications. I hope you have those notification bells clicked because you're gonna wanna get into this one Monday. Now, we know it's hot outside, and I've been trying to give you guys a lot of salads, a lot of stuff that's quick and easy, stuff that you don't have to turn on your oven. But we're going to have to turn on our oven for this one. And I think ain't nobody going to be mad about it, okay? Not much mad. Once you start tasting it, you're going to be over whatever you was feeling when you had to turn on that oven. We're going to have to do a little cooking this time. But it's going to be worth it. I'm going to show you guys how I make my loaded, loaded mac and cheese. And baby, this is a one pan recipe. You put everything in there together. You ain't got to make no sides. You ain't got to do nothing. Get you a good old glass of wine. Get you some a good old bloat or something or whatever you feel like you need to get when you get this in your plate. And all you got to do is get to eating. So let's get right to it. Now this is a mac and cheese. So for me in a mac and cheese, okay, butter, you always have to, I always do a cheese roux, okay? So we know with a roux, we got to have us some fat. And we've got to have us some um, some fat, and then we need some uh, some fat, some flour. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna for my fat, I'm gonna be using some butter, and then I'm gonna be using some just regular um, um, all-purpose flour. And then I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to be stuffing and, and making this, uh, what's going to make this loaded is I'm going to be using me some chicken that I've blackened and cut in blocks. And I'm going to be using some broccoli. And I'm going to show you guys what I do to my broccoli. Now my chicken is already done. And all I did is pan sear this chicken and I cut it up. This is three breasts, pretty large breasts. Uh, large size breast, okay, chicken breast, uh, skinless, boneless, and I kind of filleted them and fried them, and then I just cubed them, okay. So I already have my pans getting hot, and as I can see, my um, one for my broccoli is getting pretty hot. This is some fresh broccoli, you guys. This I think you probably remember I did that broccoli um, salad about a week or so ago. This is broccoli, that same uh, broccoli from uh, I had a couple a bag left, and it needs to be used. So I'm going to be using fresh broccoli. What I have already going over here that's smoking, this is a whole stick of butter right here. So let's get down on these pans because they're ready to get get they ready for me to get it going. So let's get over there. Okay, so we're at the skillet. Okay, so this is already, um, this is my flour, I mean my butter, one stick of butter. And then I have my flour over there. But let's take care of this one right here. This is my um, pan for my broccoli. And just to give this broccoli some personality and not just throw it up into my um, mac, mac and cheese, I'm going to put me some onions in here. This is one onion, a small to medium sized onion that I've diced up, okay? And then I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to put me some, um, some garlic, some minced garlic in here as well. Now, y'all know how I am about garlic. Garlic is life. Garlic is everything. I'm just going to give me a Jethro spoonful. And whenever you guys hear me say Jethro, if you this is your first time, I mean my Jethro skillet. It's bigger than normal. I mean my Jethro spoon. It's the one that us southern people eat our cereal with. That means I'm going big, okay? I'm trying to get done. So, as you can see, I did two bloops of that uh, minced garlic, okay? 
turn this butter down just a little because it's already browning, okay? We're just gonna let that make friends and, and love on each other just a bit, okay? I'm gonna turn that up. Now let's go over here and let's mess with this butter. Let me get me my other spoon. Okay, I thought I had her out, but let's find us something else. Okay, we go this other side. I'm going to try to do both of them while y'all on here. I'm going to show out. Okay, so I got my butter. Can y'all see that? I got my butter. I'm going to take me some flour. Probably about two to four <clears throat> tablespoons of butter. Now for this, it doesn't matter what color it gets. Now if I was frying some chicken, I would want this, butter, uh, this uh, roux to be a brown color. Cause that's what color my gravy is gonna be if I was doing gravy. But I'm just making me a roux, a base, a cheese roux. Okay, this is essential, essential, essential when you are making you some um some mac and cheese. That roux will change the, the game for you. Okay, as y'all can see, I'm not measuring. Now what I wanted to do is I just wanted to get tacky. I want it to get pasty, okay? Clumpy. Right? You'll know what you get. What's the, what's the consistency? Not as thick as um, Play-Doh. <laughs> um, maybe just like a paste, okay? Like a toothpaste consistency, maybe. Okay? That's what I'm looking for. So you see, I'm just keeping on doing it until I get that paste. All right? It's coming. See that? See that? Just wanted to get a, like a little paste. You want to give it time to get all those clunks out. So I'm going to let it uh, hang out for just a second. I'm going to pour my broccoli on into this pan. Okay? Because all you want over here is translucent onions. You don't want burnt garlic. Okay? So we're going to pour our broccoli in here. Now I'm not going to go wild on my seasonings for this broccoli. I'm just going to put me some salt and some pepper on here and let that do it. Okay? Because I have heavily, se I heavily seasoned my chicken. It's, it's, it's seasoned. It, it tastes so good. It's black and then it's seasoned. So I'm just going to do some salt and pepper, maybe some garlic powder and some onion powder. Maybe. Maybe. Okay? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give you some garlic powder and some onion powder. Okay, so y'all watching that for me? Now the cheeses today, y'all, too, that I'm going to be using, that's up to y'all. I'm going to be using Monterey Jack. I'm going to be using two types of a cheddar, and I'm going to be using a pepper jack, and I'm going to be using some parmesan. Now, as far as uh, how much of everything, let's break it down. As I said, I have about three uh, large chicken breasts, right? I don't want to reach over, y'all. Put it on the wrong side. Three large chicken breasts that I split, all right, and um, that made me probably about four cups of chicken, maybe. i will say about four cups of chicken. And then I have about four cups of broccoli, fresh broccoli. You can use frozen, just, uh, you know. I would start with it in the microwave first. Get some of that water out of it. Okay. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. That's all I'm putting on here. All right. You have to put something on every part of your food. Okay. You just have to. So we're just going to let that hang out. Now, I don't want a, a hard cook on this. I want this to still have some body. I don't want it to be our limp biscuit, you know. <laughs> Did you get out the shower or you cold? And I, I don't, you know. 
I wanted to still have some body to it. I don't know why this stuff pops up in my head, y'all. Yeah. That's it. So let's look at this cheese roux right quick. Okay, yeah. Now you're getting out of count what I want you to do. So now we're going to play with this, okay? So where I'm going to start at is with my cheese. Now, as you, now you see I have a lot of cheese. Probably about eight cups or so. You see all that cheese? But remember, I'm going to do me a cheese sauce. But in addition to doing me a cheese sauce, I'm also going to be putting cheese um, shreds into my, um, my mac and cheese. So I'm just going to grab me two to three big handfuls of this shredded cheese, okay? We're going to start making us a cheese a sauce, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm back. I don't know what just happened or what happened. Um, I realized I hadn't been taping. The last thing that I said that you guys saw was that I was going to make a cheese sauce, okay? So, here we are. That's the cheese sauce, and I was going to check on this. Now, what I was saying about this is that we like to cook the life out of our vegetables. I don't know if it's a southern thing or a black thing, but for this, I want these um, this broccoli to have some bite to it. That's why I come I use fresh broccoli, but of course, frozen is okay as long as you um, warm it up and get some of that juice out of it, um, like in the microwave first. Kind of, kind of dry it out if that makes sense. Okay, so let me go over here and check on my cheese sauce. Now, I don't know if you guys know what I put in here, um, but you know I have me some butter and some flour in here. What we're doing now, guys, is we're going to get it into a sauce consistency. So what I have in here, can y'all see Yeah, What I have in here is I have my butter and my flour mixture that I got into a pasty consistency. Then I started dropping me some cheese. In total right now, I have about three um handfuls of my shredded cheese that I freshly uh, shredded. Your cheeses will do better in, in your macaroni and cheese if you take the time to shred it. But if you don't have the time, that's fine. People do it with um, purchased, uh, you know, cheese all the time that's already shredded. So we've got about a cup and a half, that's all of that, of that half and half, I mean a uh, heavy whipping cream, and about a cup of the chicken broth okay so you see how it was looking all clunky it was looking all crazy but now we're getting what we want out of this sauce okay so i already have about three big handfuls i'm gonna put me one more handful in here and this is all of my cheeses combined okay <clears throat> now i'm gonna also drop me some um parmesan in here as well probably about a cup and a half to two cups of that okay so that's going in here this is my cheese sauce it's going to be the base and the love of my macaroni and cheese now if you just want to go straight to your macaroni and cheese with all of your shreds with some um, margarine and some butter some um, heavy cream and all that and not do this cheese sauce, you are very much so welcome and you would be just within your rights of your macaroni and cheese um, uh, making them to do that. I know this is not no rule, okay? This is just what Marita does, okay? So I, like I said, we're not going to cook this to death. I'm about to stop cooking this. All this is, I hope that you found out in the first part, but this is just about four cups of broccoli fresh i had some left and it needs to be used because you can't leave this stuff in your refrigerator forever so and it's got some minced garlic and one whole um onion in it the onion is a medium small to medium onion now the grease the oil that i used this is the oil that i uh, the oil that i used for this let me bring you up just a little bit i use the oil from my um bacon now, I did about eight slices of bacon, you guys. I fried them up really good and really hard. Now, what I'm going to be doing with bacon is I'm going to be going on the top of my casserole with uh, crumbled bacon and green onions and some parsley, okay? Now, let's check out this um, 
cheese sauce some more. Because that's what we're waiting on. When this cheese sauce get good, we're going to start putting it together. So let me look and see how creamy this cheese sauce is getting. Baby, because you can't have no good macaroni and cheese without no good cheese, honey. On period, okay? And it's going to be better. Let me taste the back of this. Yes, baby, okay? You don't need no salt. You don't need no pepper. You don't need nothing. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I don't want it to start separating on me, okay? So now, we're just going to let this just come together. I'm going to turn you around. And we're going to start putting this macaroni and cheese together, okay? All of our cheese is made up in our cheese roux, okay? This is just going to give this cheese life. Now, another thing that I put in here with this, you got all your shredded cheeses, right? All your, 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 your favorite shreds, okay? You done made you a cheese sauce. Now, all I want... Okay, 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 okay. I guess I'm just going to have to watch this until I'm done because I don't have time to investigate why this keeps stopping. So I'm just going to try to piece this together. But like I said, you got all your cheese shreds already in this pot. You've got your your heavy whipping cream. You've got your um, chicken broth. You've got all of that in here. And now what I put in here, you guys, is I put a package of this in there because I think y'all got clocked off when I told you this. But I put a package of this Velveeta uh, cream sauce in here as well. I put that in there because Velveeta just has to make an appearance when I'm doing mac and cheese, okay? So now we've got our cheese sauce, and I'm just going to let this hang out on here for just a second. We're going to go over here and put this together and try to get this uh, video together because I want you guys to have this one, and I really don't have time to investigate why this is cutting off. So let's go on over here. I'm going to turn this down, let it keep on cooking. Let's go over here and start putting it together, okay? Hold on just a second. Okay, you guys, let me try to hurry on through this since I don't know what's going on with my computer, with my phone, and I don't have time to investigate. So what we have is our macaroni elbow noodles, okay? I'm going to add my chicken and my broccoli into this um, in here, okay, that we have seasoned and, and everything is delicious, okay. I'm going to add that in there. And I'll probably get knocked off again and I'll just throw it up again. And then later on tonight, I'll be able to try to check out and see what's going on with this. I don't know why out of the clear blue sky this is happening to me. But, you know, we're going to keep right on going. Y'all going to get this loaded mac and cheese recipe today. Okay? So, we got that in there. Okay? Now, we're going to add our liquid gold, baby. Okay? This is a combination of all of our shredded cheeses with our milk, with our... <clears throat> with our milk and our chicken broth, okay? We're just gonna add that right on in there, right? This is gonna be what keeps it creamy on the inside, you guys. If you can and if you have the time, do you a rule, okay? Right? We're gonna mix this in here. Come on, come on, come on, phone. Keep working for me. A rule of thumb, you guys, on any kind of baked good. If it is dry going into the oven, it is going to be dry when it comes out of the oven. Because, of course, why? Because you're going to take some more. <clears throat> it's going to take up some, some of that moisture, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put me some more chicken broth in here. And I'm going to put me some more of that... Um, Heavy whipping cream. Lord, I hope y'all stay with me. I'm coming. Get it out. You always think you got enough of everything till you ain't got enough of everything. Y'all still along with me? Here we go. Let's put up about another cup. Like I said, this is about five cups of spaghetti of our elbows. So we know that this can get, get to getting up. I'm going to put me another about another cup. So that's going to be about what? 
two and a half cups of, um, this is for me though, this is for this much. Now you may not have this much, and so you may not need this additional, um, this additional liquid, okay? But if you do, don't be scared because you want this to be creamy going in. Because if it's not creamy going in, going in, it's not going to be creamy when you take it out, okay? That makes sense? Okay. That's a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the remaining, the remaining parts of my, all except for about a handful, I'm going to put, mix it in here, okay? This is about another what? say what a cup or so to mix in and then we're going to mix us some on the top and we're going to be done with this i'm going to put it in the oven uh 375 for 30 minutes covered and about five to ten minutes uncovered okay y'all still with me lord i hope y'all still with me is it going? Yeah, yeah. I got my nerves. Now I'm scared. I'm scared y'all ain't gonna be with me. Finish the rest of this out. It wasn't enough to do nothing else with. You'll see what I'm what I'm what I'm going for in just a second. You'll see that I have that liquid. It did go out for me again. You're gonna understand why I want this to be saucy. You'll understand it once you uh, make it because you want that standing liquid you see that i have liquid in the corners over there you want that liquid because it's going to just bake into here it's going to allow this to be um creamy on the inside and you want that on your macaroni and cheese you really really do okay coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming Coming up, coming up. Now all we need to do is we need to top it, okay? As my oven is ready for me, I'm gonna put some more mozzarella in here because I still do want that cheese pull, you guys. I don't know if that's important for y'all when y'all make macaroni and cheese, but that's everything to me. That pool has to be in there, and it has to be creamy. So if I gotta get me some out of my already, already uh, prepared cheese in the refrigerator, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause now I done started. Y'all know how I am. When we gonna make it, it's gonna be good. We gonna be good. <laughs> it's all good, okay? All right. Now I, I don't, you know. I, I'm I'm funny about it because it don't gotta I don't have to be wet, but it, it can't be dry. So what's in between wet and dry? <laughs> what's in? I don't know what's in there. I want it to be, I guess creamy. I guess that's the word. This is all uh, PP, y'all. Y'all know how I am about it. That's a personal preference. You can do what I'm doing and stop whenever you get ready to stop. Right now, I'm just bringing y'all along to my madness and how I have to have it for me, okay? And I think I finally got it where I want it. I'm going to give it a taste. Everything in here is cooked. So I'm going to make sure I like the flavor, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take me a little bit of seasonings. Season the whole pot. Season the whole flake. This is just some seasoning. Oil. Some black pepper. Let me get through because I, I just know it's gonna stop again, you guys. I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to piece all of this together. But I'm gonna show a piece of together because y'all got to have this in your life. I don't know why the devil gonna try to stop by here today. I ain't did nothing. I woke up this morning. He mad about it. He can't do nothing to me. God's kid. <laughs> I'm try to stop it if you want to. Okay, let's top it. So we can put it in the oven. Okay. Don't that already look good? Ooh. 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 Yeah. Okay, so let's top it. Put up some cheese on the top, 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 top. Put some cheese on the top. 
We're gonna put up some cheese on the top. Get out my cheeses together. Okay. Cheese on the top. This is a meal, you guys. This is a mac macaroni and cheese meal, okay? Everything is in here, okay? Everything you need is in here. Got you a veg. You got you some meat. Everything you need is in here, okay? Then we're going to put some bacon on top. Crumble, 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 crumble. This is a treat. We can't eat this every day. Get my green onions, right? Put them on there. Yes, baby. It's going to be so good. Okay, y'all. And I'm going to cover it and we're going to put it in the oven. Like I said, 30 minutes. And then we're going to uncover it for 10, okay? I'll be back when we're ready to take it out. Okay, you guys, since my phone is acting crazy, I'm not going to stay on here long. This is my loaded mac and cheese out of the oven. As I said, I cooked it for 30 minutes. About 40 minutes, actually, because I got busy um, with the foil on the top. And then I took the foil off for about 10 minutes. And this is the inside of it, you guys. Look at this yumminess, would you please, okay? Yes, y'all. I'm not going to uh, stay on here, like I said. I just wanted you guys to see the final results. And I definitely wanted you guys to get this video. Because y'all are going to love this loaded mac and cheese. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Thank you to those who hit that like button. Thank you to, for joining me. To those who have joined me. And for everybody else that's just looking... Come on, honey. Come on over here. It's fun over here. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one when we see what Rita's cooking. Y'all want to taste it? Open your mouth, baby. Open your mouth. Okay? <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'm going to try to put this together. Wish me luck. Love y'all.